Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm super excited to bring you an interview today with Antonio. He's the owner of a local general contracting company that specializes in all of your exterior work. So we're going to get started with our interview. Uh, Antonio, thanks for taking some time out today. Uh, I usually call you Tony, so that's easier. Um, so just to start out, Describe your business for me. What do you guys specialize in? What do you guys like to do? Well, first, thank you for having me. I basically, our work is based on exterior, siding, roof, painting, windows, decks. Uh, we also do some interior work, but majority of our work is based for all exterior work. What made you decide to get into this type of business? Gosh, that's a long story. I don't know if you really want to hear that. <laughs> but, uh, basically, I was working for another general contractor at the time. Uh, I ended up actually getting laid off. And I didn't really see another choice but to look for new work. And I jumped into, uh, I guess, the first person that offered me a job. Uh, this was when times were bad. They actually offered me like, I mean, I was getting paid like 50% less, but I took the job and I learned it really quick. And that's actually when I first started working in siding and roofing and painting. And then from there, after a couple of years, I just decided to start my own business. But initially it started with me being laid off and looking for, for new work. So you had like a pretty interesting, you know, start getting laid off and then eventually uh, branching into this business. What is something that motivated you and what's something that motivates you today to, to keep doing this? Yeah, I think in the beginning, it was really, I wanted to better myself and, and make a lot of money. That was my first thought uh, after a couple of years and after being in business for, for so long, it, it just, I don't think it's my priority uh, now it's it's you know i have a family and we just want to provide a good living for your family and yourself and basically that's that's what motivates me right now is, is family okay so people probably have like an idea of what general contracting is and you know exterior work but what is something that people might be surprised to learn about your business i think it's uh Something that, that I consider is, is obviously the, the quality and also the people that I have working for me for my team. And I think that that kind of puts me over the top of some of these other companies that were, you know, they're hiring new guys constantly and they're leaving. And I, I feel confident for my guys because they've been with, with me so long that obviously if you're treating them right they stay with you yeah and i think that's that's something that uh, i have with my guys is it's, it's loyalty and they've, they've stuck with me good times and bad times but yeah i mean uh for them to stick it out with you and you know you know what type of work they're gonna do i'm sure that comes across like in the quality of work that you're able to provide as well this is kind of more like a fun question but what was maybe like one of the strangest requests that you ever had from a client? Oh gosh, I don't think I could say what about <laughs> this one, but uh, I guess if I thought of, of something else, gosh, I, I really don't know. Um, that's a tricky one. Anybody ever asked you to like, paint their house pink and then you know do something crazy with the design yeah i've, I've had customers ask me for some crazy colors uh, we <laughs> painted one which was like a plum color i remember that one very you know still vivid just the way it looked at the end um it almost looked like something out of a, a disney <laughs> a disney story house or something but uh, I, I don't think that's too crazy though <laughs> as long as the customer you know at the end of it was, was happy you know that story with the plum house is is pretty funny but is there any uh project that you did that's more memorable to you or something that really stands out yes uh gosh i remember 
we were doing a, a roof tear off and it, you know i looked at the weather there was there's supposed to be no rain that day or that night for, for almost a whole week and then it seemed like there's this one storm just following us and it was heading right to the house and i remember getting a call from the homeowners like oh you know we're gonna it's gonna start raining and i remember just driving up there worried because the roof is pretty difficult to to get on and just remember getting there and started tarping and the homeowner who was like 84 years old old lady she climbed up on the roof <laughs> wow. and offered me to help like offered me help wow and she started like pulling on the tarp and i was just like <laughs> lady you, you could fall off can, can you not do oh she's just like i'm used to climbing on my own roof i constantly come up here and clean it 84 year old lady so that's probably the the, the funniest memory i have and I think about you know well wow. i mean i mean that's pretty crazy i'm you know in my 30s and i'm afraid to get on the roof so <laughs> part of why i wanted to interview you is uh you know we do business locally um we're here in kent we do business throughout kent and auburn and surrounding areas um being part of the community is something that we're trying to promote here so what do you what do you enjoy doing you know throughout your time here and um what what do you think about you know, being a part of this community? Well, I think it's great. Uh, you know, I have kids of my own and, and they're growing, they're, they're young now, but obviously anytime you have kids, you want to be, you know, motivated to do things around the community. Uh, I can't say I have, haven't done too much, but the things I've done obviously is, is basically helped with feeding, you know, homeless, I've done that. I also help through our church, uh, you know, trying to do more of the, the youth and that's kind of my plan is to, to, to help with the, the youth in, in the church and that's something that I'm motivated, motivated to do in the next couple of years. Is there anything exciting going on right now with your company that, you know, potential customers should know about? Gosh, uh, I don't know if it's that exciting, but <laughs> we are giving free gutters on a full reef roof replacement or siding replacement. It's been going on for about a month, and I think we're gonna till the till the end of May. Uh, basically, free gutters with any uh, full roof install or siding install. I mean, hey, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. What is the best way for a customer to get in contact with you? Gosh, you can call me directly at four two five nine four eight eight three nine four. You can also go to our website, which is. Uh, www.les-wa.com. Well, yeah, Tony, I really appreciate your time. And uh, for anybody who's looking for a good general contractor, somebody to come out and do some exterior work or even some interior projects, um, I've worked with Tony before. He's always done a good job for me. So definitely reach out to him, uh, reach out to us if you want to get a hold of him. Uh, but that concludes the interview, and you know we really appreciate everything uh, that you told us today. All right, well, thank you for having me, and uh, hope to see you soon. And anybody that needs roof, siding, windows, decks, give us a call.